Good morning, everybody. It is Meteorology Age One Forecast, guys, and welcome back to the video. Hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful Sunday morning, guys. You're probably wondering why I'm posting extremely early. It's actually because I wanted to see a the D Jumanji movie at 11 a.m. and then I'm hanging out with my friend right after, so I won't be able to get like post the videos till like five o'clock today. So I just thought. Might as well do a video this morning and then do one later this evening. So yeah, I want to have two videos up, guys. And we have huge new updates. Winter Storm Finley is now has now been named. Uh, so yeah, it's we now have Winter Storm Finley. It's gonna bring incredibly heavy snow and a huge ice threat for these for millions of people. And we have millions under winter winter weather advisory and winter storm warnings. So uh, with, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe, guys. We've been getting a ton of new viewers and a ton of new subscribers. We just uh, last night we just hit 1,940 subscribers and we're already at 1,942. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. We're getting so much closer to 2,000. Also, be sure to uh, share the channel to any friends or family that you think are in the way of this storm and just make uh, make sure that they get all the information they need. And also, be sure to big like button. We got beat, uh, we got beat 10 likes from last videos. But yeah, without further ado, let's get in this video. So we are going to be looking at the National Weather Service right now. And as you can tell, we have a huge new update throughout the areas into the Ohio Valley and into the, all the way to the Plains. So we do have now areas into Central uh, Nebraska under winter weather advisory. We had some under, we had some issues for western Nebraska, but those have now been moved east. And now we have a couple that are just south of Lincoln, Nebraska. We also do have a lot of uh, winter weather advisories throughout much of central and eastern Kansas. Now it has let, they have uh, pushed all these advisories to the east, and that's for Topeka, Kansas, and Wichita. We also do have winter storm warnings for these areas into the Ozarks. We have windstorm warnings now for Springfield, Illinois, St. Louis, um, Jefferson City, and also Kansas City. So very big cities are going to be getting possibly the worst of this. We're going to have a ton of snowfall in these areas. We also now have winter weather advisories for Evansville, Indiana, or Indianapolis. Also have a couple into Columbus, Cincinnati, and also near um, North Central, West Virginia, and also uh, so far southern, uh, southwestern Pennsylvania. So yeah, definitely we are having all these advisories going a lot more to the east now, as it's going to start to bring some snow within the next three hours. But will be a very, very bad within the next six to eight hours. Going to bring incredibly heavy snow, and then we also have a couple winter weather advisories for upstate New York. But now we're going to be looking at the uh, European, and this is updated This updated last night at 11 p.m., so this is all new update, as well as GFS. These are all new um, all new information, so we're going to be seeing exactly what the um, European now shows. So later today, again, it's going to start to bring some snow. Um, very soon, going to bring very heavy snow throughout areas into northern Nebraska. Going to bring a little bit of snow throughout areas into central Kansas. We can see, maybe see some flurries throughout Kansas City already. So yeah, definitely bring a very big amount, uh, just a large amount of snowfall. By as we get now to uh, tomorrow morning, this one it's a really, really big system. Going to connecting with a western snowstorm because they're going to be a lot bigger. And again, it's going to start to bring. A very, very heavy snow throughout areas into Kansas City, St. Louis, and Springfield. That's where we're going to be seeing possibly our heaviest snowfall of the year so far. Jefferson City is going to be getting incredibly heavy snowfall. But we also have ice threat, which is very dangerous. Looks like we can have some uh, freezing rain and sleet throughout areas south of St. Louis and for south central Missouri. We're going to be seeing some ice threats, and this, these ice threats will become a lot more widespread into southern Illinois and southern Indiana. But again, we're going to be seeing this snowfall increasing, increasing. It's going to bring a lot, uh, just incredibly heavy snow. We could possibly see blizzard conditions. We're going to be seeing incredibly heavy snow for Indianapolis. We're going to be seeing very heavy snow throughout Springfield and central Illinois. And very heavy snow throughout southwestern, uh, southwestern Ohio. Uh, oh, tomorrow morning, we'll start to see some snow showers throughout areas near Charleston. And also into areas into far western Maryland. As we now get into Monday afternoon, that's when we'll start to see this becoming a bit lighter of snowfall, but it's still going to bring a lot of snow. Uh, but it's going to bring a, a bit lighter. That's going to bring for State College, Harrisburg, areas near Pittsburgh, Cleveland. going to start to get some snow, Toledo, Columbus, um, Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, Bern, Indiana, all these areas. Looks like we can maybe even see some snow getting to Chicago. That is a new update. And then we have the second band 
right after. That's going to continue to bring some snow for Jefferson City. Again, we have the ice threat for near Columbus. We have an ice threat south of Indianapolis and for the border of Virginia and West Virginia. So, yeah, definitely an ice threat. As we now get into Tuesday late morning, this is when we have this snowstorm possibly at its biggest. We're going to have that second band for St. Louis. going to bring very heavy snow as well for Springfield. going to maybe see some heavier snow near uh, Burn, Indiana. Indianapolis going to get some more snow areas near uh, Cleveland and Toledo. Going to get some very heavy snow again. Then we have an ice threat. We can have an ice threat for New Jersey, maybe New York City. Uh, Livingston and New York are going to be seeing an, a big ice threat, which is very, very dangerous. State College, Harrisburg, and also areas into uh, central Ohio will see some ice threats, which is very dangerous. As we now get into Wednesday morning, this is when we see the snow getting a lot heavier for the northeast. Concord, Burlington, uh, areas near uh, Syracuse, uh, Albany, areas into western Massachusetts, and even Hartford are going to be getting some very heavy snow throughout these areas, but then it will be moving out very fast within Wednesday night. So, yeah, it's still going to be very long, a uh, very big system, though. Now we're going to be looking at the next six hours in the GFS. Again, it's going to start bringing some very heavy snow very soon, especially throughout areas into the far northern Nebraska. We'll be seeing incredibly heavy snow, and then we'll have some snow throughout areas into um central kansas so again you're gonna have some light heavy snow throughout these areas as we get in the, the next 12 hours so this is now uh 9 29 p.m today we're gonna be seeing incredibly heavy snow for our kansas city gonna be very very heavy snow gonna start to see some uh light snow showers for st louis and also areas into uh jefferson city maybe you see some snow for omaha and lincoln nebraska it will be possibly just moderate snow as we now get in the next 24 hours by tomorrow morning when people are going to school, this is when we're going to be seeing the snow threat, the, possibly the worst throughout these areas into the Ohio Valley and Midwest and Ozark. We're going to be seeing some ice, uh, some sleet and ice throughout areas into southern Indiana, southern Illinois, and even to St. Louis. We're going to be seeing incredibly heavy snow now for um, areas into central Illinois, areas into Indianapolis, also some, heavy, uh, some snow near Iowa City. Uh, we're also going to see some snow showers again getting into the areas of West Virginia and into the Mid-Atlantic. As we now get later into tomorrow, uh, we're going to be seeing some snow throughout Allentown and also some ice threats near Harrisburg. But again, not going to bring that much of accumulation really yet at that point. But then we have that second band right here. Later tomorrow, we're going to see that second band that's going to bring some snow for Jefferson City areas into southeastern Kansas. And that's when we'll start to see our heaviest snowfall throughout the Northeast. We're going to see a chance for blizzard conditions near Buffalo, blizzard conditions near Erie, Pennsylvania, Toledo. Uh, we'll start to have the snow leaving it by then. But we'll see a heavy snow now for Cincinnati, heavy snow for uh, Cincinnati, and uh, also um, areas into Cleveland, and maybe even some more snow showers throughout areas into southern Indiana. But again, we're going to be seeing that ice, that huge ice threat for the New England area, for all of Rhode Island, all of Connecticut, even to southern uh, southern New York, and even far uh, northeastern Pennsylvania. As we now get into Wednesday morning, that's when we see that snow kind of calming down, but it is going to bring uh, some heavy snow for some small areas near Concord, Portland, Maine, and then we'll see some lighter snow showers near Albany. Uh, Hartford can see some uh, some flurries by then, and even Burlington will see some uh, light to uh, moderate snow. So that's kind of what we're looking at the GFS. Now we're going to be looking at the NAN 3KM model. So again, by the next hour, we're going to be seeing some snow showers throughout Kansas City and also northern uh, Nebraska and southern South Dakota. And as we now get into the next three hours, that's when it's becoming a lot more widespread again. We're going to be seeing a lot of he uh, very heavy snow throughout areas into Kansas City. Um, uh, yeah, Kansas City, you're going to bring some heavy snow near Dodge City too. Again, we also have that ice threat already uh, later today. So definitely we're seeing some heavy threats. And when I do my later video uh, later this evening, it will bring in very heavy snow. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing a later video today. Now as we get now to the next eight hours, this is when it's getting ex extremely strong. We're going to be seeing blizzard conditions throughout areas into St. Louis. We're going to be seeing incredibly heavy snow. And it's going to be arriving incredibly heavy as well for Jefferson City. We're going to be seeing some very heavy snowfall and also with Kansas City. As we now get into the next 12 hours, this one is going to be incredible, just a huge band throughout areas into southern Indiana, also in Cincinnati, areas near Springfield, going to be getting incredibly heavy snow. And then we have that ice and sleet threat throughout Jefferson City now, and also uh, areas into southern Illinois for the next 12 hours. As we now get into the next 16 hours, it's very early tomorrow morning, 
We're going to have blizzard conditions now for our areas into eastern uh, Ohio and also western West Virginia. We're going to be seeing that snow again for areas near Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, and then Burnt, Indiana will be getting possibly the worst. And then we'll have a couple snow showers throughout areas near uh, uh, north central Illinois. Again, not really much for Chicago. Again, maybe a flurry or two. And then in the next 24 hours, we'll start to see that, that uh, this first band ending again throughout areas. I'm going to be some little snow showers throughout Harrisburg State College. And then we'll see that ice threat now for D.C. area too. And be an ice threat for uh, um, western or yeah, eastern Maryland. And then we have that second band that's going to bring in some more ice threats throughout Allentown and also State College. And then even Indianapolis is going to be getting a second wave of snow. So it's definitely a very big system, as you can tell. Um, yeah, this system is not a joke. Uh, honestly, it's going to be a very strong system. Uh, but now we're looking at the European uh, snowfall map. But yeah, Winter Storm of Finley is going to bring a ton of snowfall throughout all the way from Kansas to Maine. So yeah, it's definitely a very big system. It's going to be a cross-country system. It is going to actually bring, uh, there's actually huge new updates to the uh, European. So there are actually huge new updates. Uh, so yeah, only about uh, 5 inches now for St. Louis, which showed up to 7 inches yesterday. Uh, about 5 or 4 to 6 inches for Jefferson City. Uh, Kansas City can be seen up to three to four and a half inches of snowfall and then south of um south of kansas city we'll be seeing up to six inches of snowfall we're going to be seeing a brown of five, uh to five to seven inches of snowfall south of indianapolis so yeah if you're south of indianapolis you can be seeing the worst of this snowfall again looks like indianapolis is not going to only get around two to three inches and then if you're near fort wayne or burn you're only going to be one to two inches so that's a huge new update so now it's like a uh, southern indiana thing a lot more snow as both springfield springfield only going to get around two to three inches which is a huge new update as well too let's say cleveland's going to get only one inch two and columbus will be getting up to three to four inches of snowfall Cincinnati you're on one to two inches and then we'll be seeing a lot of snowfall though throughout the northeast we are going to be seeing up to around five inches of snowfall near state college about an, about around an inch at most for state college again not going to have as much snow for new jersey only around an inch or two at most for far north uh northern new jersey we're going to be seeing around um three to four inches throughout northern virginia northern west virginia we also are going to be seeing a good amount of snow near uh, our, throughout areas into north central Pennsylvania. We are also going to be getting a lot of snowfall throughout upstate New York, around a foot of snow. Looks like even a close to New York City can be getting up to five inches of the snowfall. Hartford and Providence and Foxborough will all be getting around three inches. But yeah, that's a huge update on the European. It was actually a very big change as well. Now we're going to be looking at the new GFS uh, update again. This is a huge, this is it's showing a ton of snowfall throughout the area, so it's definitely going to bring a ton of snow, and it's a lot more different than the areas of the European. I guess it'll be uh, only bringing around three to four inches for uh, Kansas City, but again, south of Kansas City can be getting the bullseye with up to seven to eight inches of snowfall through uh, southeastern Kansas. We are still all going to be seeing around seven inches to eight inches for Jefferson City, and St. Louis will be getting around the same amount. It's mainly around six to seven inches of snowfall. Again, it's going to bring a ton of snow. This little band right here, this is going to be seeing our heaviest snowfall. Springfield will be getting around uh, five, to, five to six inches of snowfall. And then it looks like Indianapolis, on the other hand, will be getting around four inches of snowfall, maybe even five inches. Uh, Burn, Indiana will be getting around three to four inches of snowfall. Fort Wayne only around one to two inches. And then again, the huge update for Cleveland. Cleveland will be getting around two to three inches of snowfall, maybe three and a half at most. On the other hand, Columbus will be getting up to four to five inches of snowfall. And then we'll be getting a ton of snow throughout the northeast as well. But again, only going to bring around uh, three inches for State College and only around a trace and maybe only uh, two inches at most for Allentown. We are going to be seeing a ton of snow about those for Buffalo up to seven to nine inches of snowfall and then Erie will be getting six to eight inches of snowfall. And then we'll be seeing a ton of snow for Syracuse up to six to eight inches of snowfall. Looks like we're going to see a huge update now for the New England area. It looks like Providence will get up to five to six inches of snowfall. Hartford up to four to five inches. And then Ayers and Concord up to four to five inches of snowfall. So that's, that's also a huge update. It looks like far northern New Jersey will be getting up to five to seven inches of snowfall. That's all the way in the tip right here. Like that's not many people are there. Uh, but for all, for the other parts of New Jersey, only around a trace to two inches. So yeah, not much at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe out here. Uh, uh, stay, stay safe out there, guys. Also, be sure to um, share the channel. But yeah, without further ado, 
Uh, I'll see you guys later into this evening.